the MS Blast worm is a network worm. It spreads over the LAN and also scans for vulnerable IP addresses. Uh, in order to infect other machines, once it finds a vulnerable one, it opens up an FTP server and sends itself on over there. And we're just going to go ahead and run it. Alright. It's now active on the system. You can see uh, the mslaugh.exe. This is the F variant of the MS Blast or Love, U Love Sandworm. And since it's spread over the land, it should also have infected this machine by now. See if we can find it. As you can see right here, it's the MS Blast process, so this computer has also been affected. And one of the symptoms of an infected machine is that it randomly terminates the explore process with an error code of the RPC service failing, which is the remote procedure protocol. But remote procedure call, actually. And we should be seeing that in a few minutes on either one of these machines. Also, you can see on the network switch here that uh, both machines are constantly using activity, even when they're not doing anything. This is from the amount of packets being sent by the MS Blast worm. And I guess we'll just sit back and wait for the payload to appear on one of these computers. Here is one effect of the MS Blast worm. You see the SVC host process has encountered an error and needs to close. This is like akin to the Sasser worm terminating the LSASS.exe process. Now if we wait even longer, we'll probably see the shutdown payload on either one of these computers any minute now. Here's one more effect of the MS Blast virus. So you can see as Task Manager is open and viewing the amount of processor power that's being used up, it looks relatively low to medium low. And then if we watch the task bar, as soon as you close Task Manager, PC usage skyrockets. I know you can't really see that, but it quickly goes up to 100% because it's using every available bit of memory that it can to aid in its search for more. See there, it was 100% there for just a second. If we open it up again, it should be 100%. There, right there, see. 100% of the PC power is being used to search for new computers to infect. And you can see a general slowdown of the computer. It's not extremely noticeable, but it is somewhat slower than usual. As you can see, some things remain on the taskbar for extended periods of times after they are closed. And also in other strange cases, certain functions may stop working, like the find feature in the browser. And we're still waiting for that shutdown dialog to appear. And here is the shutdown uh, payload that is initiated by MS Blast from the massive amount of searching. It says he was shut down because remote procedure call service terminated unexpectedly. And it gives you 60 seconds until the machine shuts down. And after that it literally shuts down and restarts the computer. This computer should do it any time now. And this is basically the most annoying part of the MS Blast worm. This constant shutting down basically brought down networks all over the world in 2004 and the author of the C variant of the MS Blast worm ended up receiving several years in prison. So that's basically it for the MS Blast worm.